What you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft released new tools to fix and repair Windows 11 problems. It's called Point in Time Restore and the other one's called Cloud Rebuild. Microsoft said they're reinventing Windows recovery and modernizing their tools as these were built two decades ago. Microsoft posted this information on their blog, which I'll leave a link for in the video description. They recently released a tool called Quick Machine Recovery, uh, and that is already available to people to use. But this new one called Point in Time Restore, which will roll back a PC to the exact state it was in an earlier point in time. The recovery action helps restore a wide range of issues, including problems with updates, driver conflicts, and configuration errors. Point in Time Restore will be available in preview in Windows Insider builds of Windows 11 this week. Also, Microsoft are releasing a cloud rebuild tool. So when your device acts erratically and it can't be solved in an easy way, Cloud Rebuild offers a clean slate without shipping hardware or even visiting a service desk, Microsoft said in their statement. Though the internal portal, admins will be able to select the desired Windows release and language, triggering the PC to download an installation media and rebuild itself. So basically, Windows 11 is now fixing itself. Microsoft said the process leverages autopilot for zero touching provisioning, ensuring uh, MDM enrollment and policy compliance. Post rebuild user data and settings restoration is streamlined via OneDrive and Windows backup for organizations. This approach will reduce downtime from hours or days to just a fraction of time. So this bit is probably projected towards businesses but I do believe there will be a version of this for home users as well. Just like they've done with Quick Machine Recovery, these versions of uh, Windows repair tools or recovery tools will probably be available for Windows home users as well, because obviously it's going to be integrated into Windows 11. I think this is a good sign for Windows 11, as long as it works and it doesn't break the system. And we can talk about where these tools will be located on Windows after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. Today's video sponsor is CD Key Sales. Choose the product you want to use and buy. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order. Choose the change button and then paste in your key. Choose next and then click activate. And you've just now got rid of that annoying watermark and got a full version of Windows. Now, most of the tools that Microsoft have released have been in the recovery section. So let's go to settings here and go into system. And once we go into system, there'll be a section called recovery. And this is where they've been putting their new tools. So inside here, if we go into recovery, you'll see a very familiar reset this PC and the new tool which they released not long ago called Quick Machine Recovery. So I think these tools will probably be in this location right here because it seems like they're trying to build a recovery area for all of the latest tools that they are building. And obviously this is a good sign for Windows if these tools are very successful at recovering your operating system without having to reinstall Windows all the time. I think Microsoft are trying to find a way that businesses will be able to use this quick machine recovery or use the new point in time restore or even the cloud rebuild feature, which will be able to get Windows back up and running in a working state without losing any information. You can see right here, this is the reset this PC. And if I click on keep my files right here, you'll be familiar with the uh, cloud uh, download this area right here this might be an area where they might add one of these features in so you can pick maybe a point in time restore or even a cloud rebuild in this location or it will be in the recovery section where you'll be able to choose it there and this is probably where they're going to be putting some of these new tools now i'm very interested in the point in time restore which puts the pc back into that exact state just like system restore did 
Now, System Restore wasn't really that great at restoring the PC. It always had problems and it wasn't always that successful. So I'm hoping a point in time restore is going to work a bit better. Now, when your PC doesn't close down properly, a couple of times you'll get put into this recovery section right here. And this is probably where they're going to be dropping in a couple of these tools to try to uh, recover windows. There'll probably be quick machine recovery here. And there's probably going to be some other features that are going to be added inside here, like the quick machine recovery feature. This will be added in this location as well. And you'll probably get the point in time restore added to this location so you can restore the system as well to a working state. And this could mean that we could see the end of System Restore in this location. And they may well do away with System Restore altogether and remove it from the operating system and make it obsolete like they have done with some other tools in the past. Now, there's no mention of them completely removing System Restore from the system. But if you've got something similar like a point in time restore, uh, to System Restore, then I don't see the point in having two of the very similar uh, tools on the system. Now, they might work completely different, and it might be a completely new recovery tool built from the ground up called Point in Time Restore, which will roll back a PC to the exact state it was in an earlier point in time which was working. And that's exactly the same as what System Restore does. So why would you leave both of them on the system? It would be quite confusing. So you might be seeing the end of System Restore and introducing the new point in time restore, in my personal opinion. Because System Restore has been disabled by default by Microsoft for some time now. Now, Microsoft introduced System Restore back in uh, Windows ME. And basically, that was on June 19th, 2000 when they introduce System Restore. So it would be sad to see System Restore suddenly leave our operating systems if that's their plan and to introduce the new recovery tool called Point in Time Restore. But we'll have to wait and see whether they do make System Restore obsolete and start to push Point in Time Restore as their new Windows recovery rollback tool. So you'll have reset my PC, you're going to have quick machine recovery, you're going to have point in time restore, you're going to have cloud rebuild. I just hope all these tools will actually start to fix Windows without having to reinstall Windows and having to reinstall all of your applications and back up all your data and go through all that palaver, which we've been going through for quite some time. So hopefully these tools are going to resolve a lot of common issues with Windows and get us back up and running as quick as possible with as little downtime as possible. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.